When it came to trying to sell his wider, overarching narrative, his fictional mythology, nobody was interested. The answer was always the same. It was too grandiose, too dry. There was no market for it. For decades, John continued to work on his fictional mythology in his free time. There are literally boxes and boxes of handwritten papers from this period of his life. One kind of cool thing about this is that much of it was written during World War II when there was strict paper rationing in effect. So some of his work is written on the backs of old scratch paper. Other times you can see he took papers he had written on and erased them entirely from top to bottom so that he could reuse them just to salvage some writing space. And for decades, hardly anybody saw any of his work other than his wife Edith and a small group of personal friends that he met with weekly at a pub in Oxford. Well, that and his four children. 